So check this out. I got my hexagonal bag here and now I want to line it. So we're going to talk a little bit why you would want to line it and you really don't need any kind of mad uh, sewing skills in order to line a crochet bag just like this. This tutorial is good for any consideration for a crochet bag in order to line. So a couple of considerations you would have for why you would want to line a bag. A, you can see that there's gapping spaces so anything like loose change would fall out of a bag. So lining would prevent anything that's small from actually falling out. The other thing that is a really strong advantage is that when we stuff a crochet bag it can really stuff. It can really be overstuffed. So the fact is is that if you line a bag the actual fabric prevents the bag from being overstuffed as well so it's actually extra security. So it's one of those ideas that it really does does save your bag and it also is very practical at the same time. But before we can do that we need to figure out what we're going to do for lining this first. So let's go over to the desk and let's talk about it. So what are you going to need in order to line your bag? Of course you're going to need fabric. Now I'm not hardcore into fabric so I'm not a heavy duty sewer and so this kind of product is okay for me because the fact is that I don't really require any kind of mad sewing skills. So you can pick up these little squares but what size do you need? Because this one says that it's 18 by 21 inches for this. So it's just squared up and you just open it. So what you need to do before you do anything is that you need to measure what your bag is. So in my case it's 17 inches wide and it's about 17 inches and a bit for the height of this. So I know that whatever fabrics that I'm going to pick up I can either get a, a large piece of it and cut it into a section. You can even get a large piece and then fold it over once and just do it one kind of sewing as well. In my case in this, uh, these little squares are 18 by 21 so I needed two of these in order to make that work. So let's open these up and let's then begin to work through that process. So after we've opened this up you're going to notice that there's usually a white strip on the one side. That's called the selvage edge and this edge is really never going to come apart. The other stuff has been cut so it will fall apart on you so we have to concentrate on that. So what you want to do is that you want to put your selvage edges together so that they're in the same particular project. So you don't actually need to fold it over and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. So this is the good side so you see that there's a, a different side and a good side. Okay so the, the wrong side and the good side. So what you want to do is that when you look inside the bag you want to see the good side. So in order to get this to go I want to put the good side facing up for the one piece and this one I want to put the good side facing down and I want to line it so it's perfectly over top of each other. Even if it's slightly different size you can pretty much make it work and what we're going to do then is that we're going to lay down our project on top of this in order to take our measurement. So you can do it two ways. We did take a measurement of it and you can measure and then cut. Um, I have particular fabric cutters just like so but you can just use a standard pair of scissors as well in order to do it. So just kind of a fun way to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down your project on top of this and just kind of eye it up to where you think it's going to matter. So you want to leave a little bit on the edges because you, you're going to have to fold it over and sew it anyway. So you want to leave a little bit over the edge just like you see here. And what we want to do is that we want to either take a crayon or something that uh, it, you know it's a bag so you don't have to worry about it too much. But what you can just do is that you can just trace it with a crayon in order to get your distance. If you'd like to be more accurate just take a measurement and then just measure out as well. So I'm probably going to take a measurement and take my fabric cutters but you can literally trace and then cut across the line as well. So now that I trace my line, you could have done it by measurement as well. You can just put down a flat edge just like you see here and you can just double check it towards to making sure that it is lined up perfectly. So just line up the fabric on the one side and just have the straight edge going across and then just go like that. So what I want to do is use my fabric cutters and I want to roll. I don't want to fall off the mat at all and all I'm just going to do is roll over so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut the top edge that I know that is extra and what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to turn it. So you never want to actually go and cut in this direction. You always want to stay even with your body to push directly out. Now because of the actual board here uh, my space is not big enough I'm going to have to make this really quite uh, a consistent cut and then just finish off the very top edge here. So putting it down making sure that this is lined up to the board 
the flat edge and to where I traced it. Again, you don't need these kind of special tools. You, you can get away with it if, you, if this is not a regular thing for you. So you're just gonna firmly cut and you're good to go. So now we have both of our pieces now cut and now we're gonna work on actually sewing the edges together. So now what I want to do is that I want to leave the top side. I'm going to say this is the top side because I can see the salvage end over here. So what I want to do is take both pieces and just roll them to it's almost like a half of an uh, inch over. Then what I want to just do is just grab a pin and just go down into the work. So into the fabric and just to hold it into position. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna fold over all the way down to the bottom and then once I get to the bottom, I'm gonna fold this over and do the same and then back up the other side. So please fold over your fabric and pin. So now it's time to get serious. We can either hand sew this shut or we can use a sewing machine or just something just really easy. This is called Unique Creative. So all I'm just, I'm not sponsored by any of this stuff by the way, just so you know. So whatever decisions you make, it's up to you. So I'm just gonna open up my uh, my tool here and all I'm just going to do then is slide it in and I'm going to sew across the top edge here or sorry across the side edge. The top I'm going to worry about later. So I'm just going to set it down and just feed it in. So I told you before, you don't need any kind of mad uh, sewing skills. It's not perfect, but it goes inside the bag, so you barely ever see it anyway. So what I want to do is that I want to fold down the top edge, and I want to just fold it down nicely so that the good side is facing you. So this is the bad side. So what I want to do is that I want to sew this into position. So I'm going to go all the way around the bag, so don't accidentally <laughs> sew everything so that it's closed completely. So you want to just kind of fold it in a way that it makes sense and then just go around the top layer of the bag and then we're going to then move to the bag after that. So I've already kind of demonstrated how I'm sewing so just um, you can just pin and when I say go all the way around so just make sure that you just follow it around the back and go all the way. Okay now that I've sewed my bag this is not perfect sewing by any stretch and probably I could have done just as good a job of um, doing it by hand. So what I'm going to do now is like I got like a pillowcase uh, situation going on. I want to grab my real project that I have, lay it down and I want to insert this inside the bag. So it may be easier to put your hands inside the casing you just made and just push it down to the bottom. And just make sure when you push it down that you don't push everything down. You've got to keep the top section up just so you have. So what we're going to do then is just line it up. And I'm just going to take my time and line it up and then I'll be right back. So now what I want to do is that I want to take this edge now of the liner and I want to sew it to the project. Now I'm going to use the same color pretty close to it to what I have here so that I can sew in and out. So if it shows on the inside it's not so bad but if I have a different color that's showing on the outside of the bag and it's being attached. So what I want to do is follow the perimeter around just slightly below um, the line of where it appears in the pro uh, in the in the bag. So just slightly below so that the liner's not popping out. So when you open it you can see the liner but if you're just kind of holding it you won't even know it's there. So what I'm going to do is just hand sew in and out all the way around then to the top layer of this bag. So starting on the one side I want you to just start inside the bag and then just kind of just tack it come out onto the outside of the bag with the needle. I know it's kind of hard to see and I want to just kind of make sure I stay a little bit lower than the top edge. And I, all I'm just going to do is kind of just weave in or weave in and out with the darn uh, sewing needle in order to do that. So I'm going to come back on the outside going back onto the in in interior and then I'm just going to capture that yarn strand in order to lock everything into position. So all I'm just going to do is then just go in and out just sewing all the way around and when I come back I'll have that done. So here's my new bag and I have it all lined up so you can see on the inside nothing is going to pop through because the lining is in there and this is a really neat idea and I think that you'll love it at the same time. So this is how to line your crochet bags.